Jean-Luc Marion born the 3rd of July 1946 is a French philosopher and Roman Catholic theologian. Marion is a former student of Jacques Derrida whose work is informed by patristic and mystical theology, phenomenology, and modern philosophy. Much of his academic work has dealt with Descartes and phenomenologists like Martin Heidegger and Edmund Husserl, but also religion. God Without Being, for example, is concerned predominantly with an analysis of idolatry, a theme strongly linked in Marion's work with love and the gift, which is a concept also explored at length by Derrida. Biography Early years Marion was born in Mutin, Hautes-de-Seine, on 3 July 1946. He studied at the University of Nanterre now the University Paris West Nanterre La Défense and the Sorbonne and then did graduate work in philosophy from the École Normale Supérieure in Paris, where he was taught by Jacques Derrida, Louis Althusser and Gilles Deleuze. At the same time, Marion's deep interest in theology was privately cultivated under the personal influence of theologians such as Louis Bouyer, Jean de Nielou, Henri de Lubac, and Hans Urs von Balthasar. From 1972 to 1980 he studied for his doctorate and worked as an assistant lecturer at the Sorbonne. After receiving his doctorate in 1980, he began teaching at the University of Poitiers. Career. Topic. From there he moved to become the director of philosophy at the University Paris X, Nanterre, and in 1991 also took up the role of professor invitee at the Institut Catholique de Paris. In 1996 he became director of philosophy at the University of Paris IV, Sorbonne, where he still teaches. Marion became a visiting professor at the University of Chicago Divinity School in 1994. He was then appointed the John Nuveen Professor of the Philosophy of Religion and Theology there in 2004, a position he held until 2010. That year, he was appointed the Andrew Thomas Greeley and Grace McNichols Greeley Professor of Catholic Studies at the Divinity School, a position that had been vacated by the retirement of theologian David Tracy. On 6 November 2008, Marion was elected as an immortal by the Académie Française. Marion now occupies seat 4 in office previously held by Cardinal Lustiger. His awards include the Karl Jaspers Prize of the City and University of Heidelberg 2008, the Grand Prix de Philosophie de l'Académie Française 1992 for his entire oeuvre, the Prix Charles Lambert de l'Académie des Sciences Morales et Politiques 1977. Topic: Philosophy Topic. Marion's phenomenological work is set out in three volumes which together form a triptych or trilogy. Reduction et donation, Etudes sur Husserl, Heidegger et la phénoménologie is an historical study of the phenomenological method followed by Husserl and Heidegger, with a view towards suggesting future directions for phenomenological research. The unexpected reaction that reduction et donation provoked called for clarification and full development. This was addressed in a Tante de Ney, essay d. Une phénoménologie de la donation, 1997, a more conceptual work investigating phenomenological givenness, the saturated phenomenon and the gifted a rethinking of the subject. Du Cirquois provides an in depth description of saturated phenomena. Topic. Givenness Topic. Marion claims that he has attempted to «radically reduce the whole phenomenological project beginning with the primacy in it of givenness». What he describes as his one and only theme is the givenness that is required before phenomena can show themselves in consciousness. What shows itself first gives itself. This is based on the argument that any and all attempts to lead phenomena back to immanence in consciousness, that is, to exercise the phenomenological reduction, necessarily results in showing that givenness is the sole horizon of phenomena. Marion radicalizes this argument in the formulation, as much reduction, as much givenness, and offers this as a new first principle of phenomenology, building on and challenging prior formulae of Husserl and Heidegger. 
The formulation common to both, Marion argues, so much appearance, so much being, adopted from Johann Friedrich Herbert, erroneously elevates appearing to the status of the sole face of being. In doing so, it leaves appearing itself undetermined, not subject to the reduction, and thus in a typically metaphysical situation. The Husserlian formulation, to the things themselves, is criticized on the basis that the things in question would remain what they are even without appearing to a subject, again circumventing the reduction or even without becoming phenomena. Appearing becomes merely a mode of access to objects, rendering the formulation inadequate as a first principle of phenomenology. A third formulation, Husserl's principle of all principles, states that every primordial data intuition is a source of authority for knowledge, that whatever presents itself in intuition less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 is simply to be accepted as it gives itself out to be though only within the limits in which it then presents itself marion argues that while the principle of all principles places givenness as phenomenality s criterion and achievement givenness still remains uninterrogated whereas it admits limits to intuition as it gives itself though only within the limits in which it presents itself Givenness alone is absolute, free and without condition. Givenness then is not reducible except to itself, and so is freed from the limits of any other authority, including intuition. A reduced given is either given or not given. As much reduction, as much givenness, states that givenness is what the reduction accomplishes, and any reduced given is reduced to givenness. The more a phenomenon is reduced, the more it is given. Marion calls the formulation the last principle, equal to the first, that of the appearing itself. By describing the structures of phenomena from the basis of givenness, Marion claims to have succeeded in describing certain phenomena that previous metaphysical and phenomenological approaches either ignore or exclude givens that show themselves but which a thinking that does not go back to the given is powerless to receive. In all, three types of phenomena can be shown, according to the proportionality between what is given in intuition and what is intended. Phenomena where little or nothing is given in intuition. Examples include the nothing and death, mathematics and logic. Marion claims that metaphysics, in particular Kant, but also Husserl, privileges this type of phenomenon. Phenomena where there is adequation between what is given in intuition and what is intended. This includes any objective phenomena. Phenomena where what is given in intuition fills or surpasses intentionality. These are named saturated phenomena. Topic. The saturated phenomenon Topic. According to John D. Caputo, Marion is famous for the idea of what he calls the Saturated phenomenon, which is inspired by his study of Christian Neoplatonic mystical theologians, the idea that there are phenomena of such overwhelming givenness or overflowing fulfillment that the intentional acts aimed at these phenomena are overrun, flooded, or saturated. Topic: The intentionality of love. Topic: The fourth section of Marion S. work Prolegomena to Charity is entitled The Intentionality of Love and primarily concerns intentionality and phenomenology. Influenced by and dedicated to the French philosopher Emmanuel Levinas, Marion explores the human idea of love and its lack of definition. We live with love as if we knew what it was about. But as soon as we try to define it, or at least approach it with concepts, it draws away from us. He begins by explaining the essence of consciousness and its lived experiences. Paradoxically, the consciousness concerns itself with objects transcendent and exterior to itself, objects irreducible to consciousness, but can only comprehend its interpretation of the object. The reality of the object arises from consciousness alone. Thus the problem with love is that to love another is to love one's own idea of another, or the lived experiences that arise in the consciousness from the chance cause of another. I must, then, name this love my love, since it would not fascinate me as my idol if, first, it did not render to me, like an unseen mirror, the image of myself. Love, loved for itself, inevitably ends as self-love, in the phenomenological figure of self-idolatry. 
Marion believes intentionality is the solution to this problem, and explores the difference between the I who intentionally sees objects and the me who is intentionally seen by a counter consciousness, another, whether the me likes it or not. Marion defines another by its invisibility, one can see objects through intentionality, but in the invisibility of the other, one is seen. Marion explains this invisibility using the pupil. Even for a gaze aiming objectively, the pupil remains a living refutation of objectivity, an irremediable denial of the object. Here for the first time, in the very midst of the visible, there is nothing to see, except an invisible and untargetable void. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 my gaze, for the first time, sees an invisible gaze that sees it. Love, then, when freed from intentionality, is the weight of this other's invisible gaze upon one's own, the cross of one's own gaze and the other's and the unsubstitutability of the other. Love is to render oneself there in an unconditional surrender less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 no other gaze must respond to the ecstasy of this particular other exposed in his gaze. Perhaps in allusion to a theological argument, Marion concludes that this type of surrender requires faith. Topic: <inaudible> Publications. Topic: God without Being, University of Chicago Press, 1991. Du sans lettre or texte, Paris, Library Artheim Fayard, 1982. Reduction and Givenness, Investigations of Husserl, Heidegger and Phenomenology, Northwestern University Press, 1998. Reduction et Donation, Recherches sous Husserl, Heidegger et la Phénoménologie, Paris, Presses Universitaires de France, 1989 Cartesian Questions, Method and Metaphysics, University of Chicago Press, 1999. Questions Cartesiens I, Méthode et Métaphysique, Paris, Presses Universitaires de France, 1991 in the name, How to Avoid Speaking of Negative Theology, in J. D. Caputo and M. J. Scanlon, eds. God, the Gift and Postmodernism, Bloomington, in, Indiana University Press, 1999. On Descartes' Metaphysical Prism, The Constitution and the Limits of Onta Theology in Cartesian Thought, University of Chicago Press, 1999. Sur le prisme métaphysique de Descartes, Paris, Presses Universitaires de France, 1986 The Idol and Distance, Five Studies, Fordham University Press, 2001. La Dole et la Distance, Cinq Etudes, Paris, B. Grasset, 1977 Being Given, Toward a Phenomenology of Givenness, Stanford University Press, 2002. Atant Dene. Essay d'une phénoménologie de la donation, Paris, Presses Universitaires de France, 1997 In excess, Studies of Saturated Phenomena, Fordham University Press, 2002. De surcroît, Etudes sur les phénomènes satires, Paris, Presses Universitaires de France, 2001 Prolegomena to Charity, Fordham University Press, 2002. Prolegomènes à la Charité, Paris, ELA. La Difference, 1986. The Crossing of the Visible, Stanford University Press, 2004. La Quasi du Visible, Paris, Presses Universitaires de France, 1996 The Erotic Phenomenon, Six Meditations, University of Chicago Press, 2007. Le Phénomène Éritique, Six Meditations, Paris, Grasset, 2003 On the Ego and on God, Fordham University Press, 2007. Questions Cartesiens II, Sur Lego et Sur Dieu, Paris, Presses Universitaires de France, 1996 The Visible and the Revealed, Fordham University Press, 2008. Le Visible et le Revelé, Paris, Les Editions du Cerf, 2005 The Reason of the Gift, Richard Lectures, University of Virginia Press, 2011. In the Self's Place, The Approach of St. Augustine, Stanford University Press, 2012. Au lieu de SOI, Paris, Presses Universitaires de France, 2008, Givenness and Hermeneutics per Marquette Lectures in Theology, Marquette University Press, 2013. Negative Certainties, University of Chicago Press, 2015. Certitudes Negatives. Paris, Editions Grasset and Faskell, 2009, Givenness and Revelation, Gifford Lectures, Oxford University Press, 2016. Believing in Order to See, on the Rationality of Revelation and the Irrationality of Some Believers, Fordham University Press, 2017. 
Descartes' Grey Ontology, Cartesian Science and Aristotelian Thought in the Reguli, St. Augustine's Press, forthcoming, August 2017. Descartes' White Theology, St. Augustine's Press, translation in process. Topic see also topic Christian existentialism Continental philosophy Postmodern Christianity Rational mysticism topic References topic topic Source topic Académie française 2008. Jean-Luc Marion's Profile in French. Archived from the original on the 11th of February 2012. Legends France Press, the 6th of November 2008. La philosophie Jean-Luc Marion et lui à l'Académie française in French. Archived from the original on the 29th of September 2012. Retrieved the 25th of June 2015. Caputo, John D. 2007. The erotic phenomenon by Jean-Luc Marion. Ethics Book Review, 118, 1, 164-168. doi, 10.1086, Horner, Robin, 2005. Jean-Luc Marion, A Theological Introduction. Burlington, Ashgate. Husserl, Edmund, 1969. Ideas, General Introduction to Pure Phenomenology. Translated by W. R. Boyce Gibson, 5th ed. London and New York, George Allen and Onwin and Humanities Press. British SBN, 04-11005-0. Marion, Jean-Luc Reduction and Givenness, Investigations of Husserl, Heidegger, and Phenomenology. Translated by Thomas A. Carlson. Chicago, Northwestern University Press. ISBN 0-8101-1235-3. Marion, Jean-Luc being Given, Toward a Phenomenology of Givenness. Translated by Jeffrey L. Kosky. Stanford, Stanford University Press. ISBN 0-8047-3410-0. Marion, Jean-Luc In Excess, Studies of Saturated Phenomena. Translated by Robin Horner and Vincent Barrow. New York, Fordham University Press. ISBN 0-8232-2217-9. Marion, Jean-Luc, 2002 c. Prolegomena to Charity. Translated by Stephen E. Lewis. New York, Fordham University Press. University of Chicago, the 16th of February 2010. Nine faculty members receive named chairs, distinguished service appointments. UChicago News. Retrieved the 25th of May 2012. University of Chicago Divinity School, 2015. Faculty Biography. Retrieved 25 June 2015. Topic further reading Topic Rethinking God as Gift, Marion, Derrida, and the Limits of Phenomenology, Robin Horner, Fordham University Press, 2001 Givenness and God, Questions of Jean-Luc Marion, Ian Leesk and Owen G. Cassidy, eds, Fordham University Press, 2005 Counter Experiences, Reading Jean-Luc Marion, edited by Kevin Hart, University of Notre Dame Press, 2007. Reading Jean-Luc Marion, Exceeding Metaphysics, Christina M. Geschwantner, Indiana University Press, 2007. Interpreting Excess, Jean-Luc Marion, Saturated Phenomena, and Hermeneutics, Fordham University Press, 2010. A Genealogy of Marion's Philosophy of Religion, Apparent Darkness, Tamsin Jones, Indiana University Press, 2011. Degrees of Givenness, on Saturation in Jean-Luc Marion, Christina M. Geschwantner, Indiana University Press, 2014. Marion and Derrida on the Gift and Desire, Debating the Generosity of Things, Jason W. Alvis, Contributions to Phenomenology Series, Springer Press, 2016. Topic. External links Topic. Quotations related to Jean-Luc Marion at Wikiquote